State Tycoon Hassan Ibasaja Brother appeared before the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament yesterday to defend the award of 142 billion shillings received as compensation for the loss he incurred on the three city markets that he previously owned. We are called, I was called by the President. That was on 27th, 27th December 2006. That's when I met him in the first meeting. Now, then in 2007, that's when we like, came up with certain agreed positions. Even after his justification for the award, he has gone ahead to block those attempting to stop his compensation. NTV has obtained a copy of the interim order dated 19 September 2011, ordering the Auditor General, Uganda Revenue Authority, Minister of Finance and other investigating agencies of government to restrain from denying him the award of 142 billion shillings. Basaja Baraba's interim court order has also been backed up by Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister Major General Kahindo Tafire in his letter dated 28 September 2011. Is it, good, is it fair that we should give Basaja Baraba a hearing? Yeah. Basaja Baraba may be a criminal, but there is a saying that the rest of the world is not possible. A criminal is not expected to choose himself. But a criminal, a criminal has a right to be heard. That's otherwise they, they, they wouldn't be courts. <laughs> they wouldn't be courts of law. You see? So if he has complained to me as Minister of Justice and says I've been unfairly treated, I have examined his, his, his complaints. The interim court order sought by Harbour Group of Companies seemed to cause a conflict between the Parliament and courts of law. Lawmakers on this committee are with a view that courts of law should not interfere with the processes of parliament. In as far as the rules of subjects is concerned, we have not offended it because what we are discussing are not the neat details of what they may be imagining is before court. And in any case, our attention has not been drawn to that effect. I think it is in his interest. He needs to know that it is in his interest to do everything possible to explain himself. In another development, NTV has just received a letter from State House, written by the head of legal department of State House, the special presidential assistant to the president, Joey Kabasi, denying that the president okayed the 142 billion shillings to businessman Hassan Ibasaja Baraba. The letter reads in part, the president objected to Basaja Baraba's accusation of city markets. It says, when the process of compensation dragged on, and pressure was being exerted by many petitions on him. The president asked responsible parties to expedite the compensation due to Basaja Baraba. According to Ms. Kabasi, at no time did His Excellency the president mention a figure, either by word or writing, that would be a basis for such a compensation. Kabasi says this is not his work and he does not have the competence to do it. This is the work of government valuers. The public should be informed that State House is looking into forgeries of its documents perpetuated by some crooks. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.